I'm gonna have to redo my intro because I look different to a varying degree. And I sound different? I don't sound different. Fucking cunt, fam. Alright, yo, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Hope y'all having a fantastic day. So, I was busy with school, now I'm not. So, hello. Hang on, I wanna. Uh. Hashtag not sponsored. So, I lied. Okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought my microphone was off, so I was just like a little bit paranoid. Uh, anyways, so uh, I wanted to make a story time. Then I was kind of like, you know, story times adapted where I used to go, uh, obviously, as you can see here, I went from making random ass videos, I mean, just doing a voiceover. Actually, none of them were actually voiceovers, but I was doing, you know, I was commentating over while playing games, right? I guess it's, it is technically a voiceover, but I'm dumb, so I can say what I want. Um, and now when I make story time videos, it's never actually a story time video. Sometimes it is, and sometimes I have something wacky and stupid to talk about. But a lot of the time, I just don't. <laughs> like, nothing happens, right? which is like, that'll happen. You know, I don't have that much life experience and I can't go around just acting like, you know, whatever, whatever. So uh, instead, uh, I'm gonna adapt it into story times and just more of a comedic video uh, of some kind. What the f am I saying? So I feel like if I have the opportunity to do the story times that I want to do, which it was twice a week up until I got lazy um, and I ran out of things to talk about. Uh, but now I can include random videos of just things I want to talk about, right? So that's why today, you sons of beautiful bitches, what? Uh, I'm going to be talking about five things I don't understand that certain people do. Uh, number one, if anyone's ever worked any job in their life, right? Have you ever had that manager that when you go to talk to them, they start off the conversation, not act, they don't want none of it. They don't want you, they don't want to talk to you. They don't fucking know who you are anymore. It's like the second you say, hey, can I have a talk? They're like, either you're somehow breaking up with them when you're not dating them, or they think you're gonna like quit right then and there. They think they're gonna start firing people. I'm like, what the f I just went to, I went, this is obviously a personal experience. I went to talk to my manager. Within two minutes, this man was yelling at me. All I said, I literally shit you not. All I asked was why he did something that he did. And this man started getting so mad. And I'm just there like, I can't help you. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to be a better employee. I'm trying to help you. And you're just, you're going back shit crazy, but whatever. Number two, guys, I actually really, really hate this one. I absolutely hate when people do this. Um, when they compare you to someone else just because you kind of have a relation towards them, right? So whether it be a cousin, a sibling, any family member, any friend of yours that does a similar activity, right? Uh, the amount of times uh, as someone that does uh, martial arts as a sport, the amount of times I've gone, or I've been told, why aren't you like whoever, right? I'll use the name David. Um, why aren't you like David? Why can't you do this? How can David do this when you've been here longer than David? It's like, I'm sorry, I'm not David. I'm not David. Who the f do I look like David? Do I, do I look like this guy? No. So f you. Number three is, uh, this took a lot of effort to think about. And this is just so, the idea behind this is that I've been told it a lot, but it it's really just a something that people say. So imagine you hit someone with a tennis ball, right? And you say, cause David told me to do it, right? And then, we, that's not a good excuse by the way, but a teacher, more, most of the time it's a teacher cause teachers love being um, because teachers are so brilliant and come up with these amazing things, 
they say, um, well, if David told you to jump off a cliff, would you do it? Yes, a hundred, a hundred percent. Yes, sir, I would jump off a cliff for this man in ten f***ing seconds. Let's go find a cliff right now. David, tell me to jump off a f***ing cliff. No, I'm not jumping off a cliff. Alright, David, let's go to the cliff. When people, basically, they don't let you leave a conversation. No, this happened, uh, oh, oh, f***. This actually happened a couple days ago, where my friend and I were just walking out, and this guy, uh, at first he just made a religious comment, basically saying, our, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ loves you. And neither of us are religious. I actually, he was baptized, I think. But, uh, we both were just like, whatever, right? We both didn't think anything of it, although we did laugh about it because it's just natural, right? Teens are stupid, we laugh about things that are just whatever. Uh, but, now we had that awesome thing where on our way back, we actually went in the intention of kind of making him like feel bad, which is not, I feel bad and guilty about it. Anyways, uh, we ended up having this long conversation that we could not get out of, and then when we finally did, he started like following us for a second. Until my friend basically just said, I stopped following us and we just turned. And keep in mind, right? There's a very, it's, it, you think like, oh, God, he's following you. By no means am I intimidated by some random guy telling me Jesus Christ loves me, right? I have a black belt for a reason. I was, I was ready to get it. Hey, buddy, f off or I'm going to make you f off. Like, I, I didn't care. I, and my friend was caring. So, you know. Like, we were fine. We weren't, like, intimidated. We were just like, what the f*** are you doing? You're walking up to children! What's with people walking up to children? It's a child! I mean, we're still children, right? It works. Things I hate when people do, right? Absolutely hate it. This has pissed me off so many times. I've had this happen to me a f dozen times in, like, the past month alone. Alright? What? And I'm gonna use another school analogy because I know everyone's gonna understand it, right? When someone borrows a pencil and then loses the fucking pencil! What happened? It's my pencil, fam! I want my pencil back! Where the fuck is my pencil? Give me the fucking pencil! And, and you know what happens? It's like a week later they'll give you something like a pen or a random mechanical pencil and they like, yeah, it makes up for it. No, no, I want my pencil back. I want my f***ing pencil back, David. David, give me my f***ing pencil back. Give me. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. And uh, as always, let me know down below if you want more. Uh, I'll be uploading more anyway, so that doesn't bother me anyways. But nonetheless, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And take care. Peace.